you are probably finishing your schooling this year and wondering what career option to choose out of the billion other options thrown at you right now. You might be fascinated by psychology. After all, it's the study of you, me, humans, all of us. How we do, what we do. You might want to read people, see through them, understand their real intentions and what not. From job opportunities to the type of psychologists that are going to be in demand in the coming future and what we are going to study. We are going to answer all of them. As psychology graduates, we are also going to tell you about the real picture of what it's like pursuing a career in psychology, especially in India. Because let's be real, out of the hundred resources you are going to find online on the web, nobody is going to tell you about the real picture, only the steps. Now, before getting to our experiences, we would first like to clarify what you have to do to be a psychologist in India. And then we can discuss if it's worth pursuing and what are the challenges we have faced and are still facing. First, you'll need a bachelor's in psychology, BA or BSc. Then you have to do master's in psychology, MAMSc. Then you'll need to do an internship or training under a psychologist if you want to become a counseling psychologist. But if you are interested in becoming a clinical psychologist, then you have to do MPhil, which is need to be RCI approved. And lastly, you can also do PhD if you want to go into the professor line. But for that, you will have to clear net examinations, which are also kind of um, tricky. As simple as these steps sound, there are many layers to it. And with our own personal experiences, we will try to cover all the new. Now let's quickly go into the difference between a clinical psychologist and a counseling psychologist. A clinical psychologist will typically help you with your mental disorders, maybe autism or OCD. But on the other hand, a counseling psychologist will help you deal with your day-to-day -day life, relationship problems, depression, stress or anxiety. Basically, will help you to get a more balanced life. There is also organizational psychology, sports psychology, health psychology and forensic psychology. But with what we have experienced, the organizational and counseling psychology are going to be the most demanding in the future. I would like to add that the job opportunities are high as the mental health stigma is breaking day after day, especially with our generation realizing its value. The demand for psychologists is obviously rising. But even with this perfect scenario, there are things that need to be considered. Before going into this field of psychology, if you are from an upper middle class family or even from a rich family, that there are points. You might not need to be worried about. But if you are from a normal middle class family like we are, you have to do something as soon as possible. Think about financially securing your parents and what not then there are some things that you need to be aware of before jumping into this career. With that said, even you are from a rich family and money isn't your big concern, even then you can benefit from this video a lot. As there are many points that we are going to mention from our own experience as well, which are going to be beneficial for you as well. Now, let me begin with the most important aspect of any career, money. It's not like you cannot earn from this field, but it's not like you can earn in lakhs in this field. The reality lies somewhere in the middle. The journey of becoming a psychologist is pretty long and trust me, even if you know that and are ready to take the risk, such a long process with no money can definitely get your confidence pretty soon. And most of you might be doing your bachelor's from your hometown, which is a wise decision considering you'll have no money out of your profession for at least five years. Even after completing your masters, you can't quickly begin to earn and the most surprising part is that it is so difficult to find good internships under a proper psychologist who can train you. Imagine studying for years and not even getting paid for the internship. It just kills the motivation of any student and discourages them to go any further into this field. And even if you think you can simply open your own clinic after completing masters in psychology, how are you going to give therapy with no practical experience? It just becomes the whole chicken and the egg story and the route is even more difficult for clinical psychology where you need two more years plus the whole college and entrance scenarios which brings us to our next point. As we said, it's best to complete your bachelor's from your hometown if possible. But if you can afford, definitely try to get a good college for that too. But it's important for you to understand that college will never give you the practical knowledge you are looking for. You will always have to figure things out on your own. 
Now, it doesn't matter if you are doing it from a normal college or a fancy one in Delhi. Do not expect to get admission in the college and figure it out later. You'll still have to make your own way out of the tunnel. The only thing colleges can help you with is to get you a little exposure or maybe if the faculty is good, they can show you the way. But it's mostly going to be the theoretical part. Do not expect the practical knowledge of the field from most of the colleges. Due to the ignorant attitude for psychology in most colleges, doing at least the masters from a good college is necessary for exposure. But you cannot rely on them. Although, good exposure may help you build meaningful connections. But because psychology is still new, good colleges are pretty rare. And if colleges are good, seats are less, competition is too high, where enters the stressful entrance exams. As we said, colleges are rare and competition is high. And now CUET2 has entered the competition, which is creating the whole NEET and JEE situation. For those of you who don't know what CUET is, it is common university entrance test where all the central universities participate, even DU and VHU. So instead of giving different university exams or different entrances exams, you only have to give one entrance exam and you are eligible for all the universities, which it has its own merits and demerits. If you are assuming that you are taking a completely different road away from all the entrance exams, uh, choosing psychology, then you are 100% wrong. So if you want to get into a good college, it's going to be a little tricky and it feels discouraging to work so hard and then just indulge into the syllabus, which brings us to the next point. You might have some high expectations. Seeing all the cool movies about psychology and therapy, well, that can attract you to this fascinating field. But at the same time, take you off reality. Do not forget that just like any other subject, psychology is a discipline too. The thing that disappointed us a little was how heavily theoretical the subject can be sometimes. Don't get us wrong here. The theories are really fun if taught correctly, which is the whole point. And sometimes it gets a little tricky to understand the practical use of all the theories that we are bombarded with. So be aware that psychology is just like any other normal subject, which can give you a few nap sessions sometimes. Do not expect to know everything and everyone around you from the theories. They of course can help you, but it will always be up to you how you perceive the theories and how you apply them because the subject is quite subjective. Where enters the statistics? Yes, math isn't leaving you guys, it's gonna stay. <laughs> Jokes apart, the statistics aren't that difficult, but of course you will have to study. Do not expect psychology to be that easy or whatever. The biology part is pretty much there too. You know, the brain and our lovely systems. Now enough of this negativity guys. Let's discuss a few solutions we have in mind. Of course, you can add some more problems and solutions. But here are our suggestions. Number one, money. If you leave all your hopes to the degree, you can have problems to some degree. You get it will probably be beneficial for you to pick up a side skill so that you at least have some base to fall on to. We took a lot of time to figure out what to do, how to do, when to do and we still are. The thing is, anything that any field that is new has these problems. When IT companies or corporates were not a thing in India, I'm sure these situations were there too. You have the first mover advantage with some little disadvantages which will leave you with time and dedication because trust me, this field is estimated to grow largely in India. You can do many things like workshops, pick up a side skill, stay active on social media until you are exactly where you want yourself to be. The thing is, we Indians think that we should pick one profession after 12 and that should be our god and goddesses. But that is not the smartest decision, especially in today's time. Also, most of the internships do not provide any practical experience whatsoever, especially during your bachelor's. In your master's, the scenario can be different. Um, you can get internships which actually provide you something. Your experiences can be different if you are from a city like Delhi, Mumbai or Bangalore, but um, from a normal city, it is possible that you might not get any practical experience from your internships. Some side skill may help you generate a passive income, especially uh, till you complete your degree. But if you want to earn as a psychologist, the most important thing for you will be knowledge and experience. 
a doctor will never be able to treat brain hemorrhage if he has only read about it so in most ways we are doctors too that's why it's important to expand your practical knowledge as much as possible connect to as many people as possible in this field through linkedin or social media find like minded people in your field number 2 colleges i'll say don't depend on your teacher and try to find your own study material online and read your books carefully teachers and the teaching system might not be best suited for you you have to understand their limitations and start working on your own from a long time psychology was treated as a humanity subject and its application from therapy and counseling was missing but if you want to make a living by helping people who are in need of it then you have to break a traditional system a little things are definitely not served on plate but you can find many opportunities your teachers might not be able to understand your opinion like you do but approaching them and making them understand your intentions will definitely help you read books watch movies tv shows and documentaries related to psychology then you will see the practical theories that we read in our textbooks in practical world quickly number 3 entrance exams trust me any good central university will give you what you want as long as you do your work you give your best but believe me getting into a good college does not guarantee success it just gives you a slightly better route the talent is in you number 4 what you will study now the best part some theories might be boring on paper but you can find interesting and fun ways to learn them online crash course and practical psychology are some channels that can help you understand theories in a more fun and cool way where you can understand the practical usage of your textbook passages it's not like computer applications where most of the things need to be learned only practically try to find the balance after all human mind is all about balance some theories might be boring on paper but don't avoid them and study them only for exams if you don't have knowledge for something then you can't apply them in real life as well if you correlate the theories to your real life situation try to observe people's psyche around you one day you will be able to make your own once again if you are actually interested whatever happens you'll find it interesting and make it fun the purpose of making this video was not to demotivate you but to help you understand the whole situation before you make the decision because when we were in your situation we had no one to help us before finishing the video we like to tell you guys that there are flip side of every coin and we just wanted you to see both of them and many people you will meet will give you a list of problems with their lucrative career in the end we will like to add some things uh, first of all don't worry about the internship that much cuz you are not going to get any good internship before your graduation you will only get internships for the sake of certificates they won't even give you any experience so don't worry about them till graduation during masters you can get internships that will give you actually some experience the main point is don't worry about internships don't stress too much your connections are definitely going to be good because it's psychology and people are going to be very empathetic and like minded Once again we like to add that the idea of making this video was to aware everyone about psychology as a career in India because many people cover the steps they tell you what to do and etc but nobody actually tells what the real picture is people can have various experiences depending upon their city and environment but not everyone is living in delhi kolkata or maybe uh, bangalore mean people are from normal middle class families to who want to be a therapist or who want to become a psychologist so what about them so this video was basically to aware them about some cautionary tales like any other career it is always you it is always your uh, courage it is always your passion who will get you there we didn't make that video just to show you the negativity around us it because at the end of the day it's up to you what you are going to see the positive side of the thing and the negative side of the thing so just try to make your own way out of the problem and uh, once again there is no shortcut in life or in any career if you just think that oh you will take this route and that route trust me believe this thing that you will have to work you will have to have that thing which any career requires because hard work is everything 
yeah i mean there are so many things out there about smart work smart work is not avoiding hard work it is allocating hard work it's smart work plus hard work so we hope we cleared most of your doubts and provided you enough information about the career side of psychology and if you have any questions then you can ask us in the comment section below we will help as many people as possible and answer as many queries as possible from our own personal experiences <laughs>